We told you back in May about a man who was injured in an apparent burglary attempt here at the Robinson Creek Rite Aid that resulted in him falling through the ceiling and being severely injured. Well, that man and another man are now facing felony charges as a result of that incident. 35-year-old Chad Mullins of Virgie and 38-year-old Lonnie Weeder Thacker Jr. of Kendrick Fork in Pikeville are each facing third-degree burglary and first-degree criminal mischief charges in relation to the May 17th alleged burglary attempt at the Robinson Creek Rite Aid. Mullins was found injured inside the store after allegedly cutting through the roof of the store and falling through the ceiling before the store opened. An employee had arrived to open up the store for business and she had located someone lying in the floor. It does appear that he did fall through the ceiling causing damage to the building. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said Mullins was eventually charged and the investigation led to charges against Thacker, who was the alleged getaway driver in the burglary attempt. So there was um, a real question about did somebody bring him there and assist him in this, but took off and left him after he didn't come out. So the Kentucky State Police did some excellent work in this. Uh, Officer Trooper Sturgill and some of the intelligence people at the uh, state police post got together and, and analyzed some video surveillance that was in the area, compared some photographs that they had, and determined that the person that had dropped him off there was probably a fellow that's called Weeder, Lonnie Thacker Jr. He's fairly well known to law enforcement in this area, so once they were able to get the video surveillance and look at it, everybody said, yeah, that's Weeder. In addition to the burglary and criminal mischief charges, the men are also facing charges of being persistent felony offenders. And what that means is, instead of them getting the same punishment they would ordinarily get, their punishment is doubled. And so instead of looking at one to five years for a burglary, they're now looking at ten years each for the burglary because of their prior felonies. Lonnie Thacker Jr. has not yet been arrested. But Chad Mullins, after he was released from Pikeville Medical Center, was briefly lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. He's since been released. Reporting in Robinson Creek for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.